This is where we last left off on the build. I have designed it at the start using SketchUp for precise measurements. With the design heavily refined since day one, I have avoided loads of human error should I chose not to use a software. This video, I will be focusing on the alignment of the aluminum frame, the drawer slides that I will mount onto the aluminum frame without any wood panels, the tabletop MFT style, the finishing of the tabletop, and the CPU stand at the bottom of the table. For the drawer slides, I am using this 600mm slides that span entirely across the width of the table. My project will rely on using 12mm birch plywood for the drawer boxes, and I will 3D print assortment boxes for laying in the drawers to hold all my screws, bolts, washers, nuts and everything else. As you can see here, I do not have the correct mounting screws, therefore I had to enlarge the mounting holes. For the tabletop, I chose to use 18mm colored MDF. It is of better quality than normal MDF, and is slightly better at protection against moisture. But mainly, it is very aesthetically pleasing. I have big plans for colored MDF. There are multiple reasons for selecting 18mm as the thickness of the MDF, but I shall not go into all the details of my thoughts. The material is pre-cut at the warehouse exactly the specification. An MFT style tabletop is decided for this assembly table. Height of the table is tailored for a seated user. Multiple clamping solutions for the user is required here. To mount the MDF onto the frame, I decided to have exposed screws that can be seen on the top. There are definitely other options to undermount a tabletop surface, but for the ease of removal and replacement in future, I decided on this method. Here is the mounted tabletop. It is still at the dry assembly stage. I will soon end up repeating the mounting process several times to eventually get things right. To mount the tabletop flush to the frame, I had these as temporary stop guides to assist the process. The aluminum extrusion rods that hold up the drawer slides are the most challenging part of the build. I had to take most of the frame apart and made sure of precision alignment before putting everything all back together. And while I put things back together correctly, I now start building it back upside down, starting from the tabletop up, to ensure that the tabletop is completely flat, eliminating any unintentional flex or bow. The design of the frame is very specific to how the drawers will eventually come together. In part 3 of this video series, you will see how I put together the drawers using birch plywood for the drawer boxes and the same colored MDF material as the drawer face. This is the middle column, which consists of drawer slides on both sides.
the time it takes to put the whole thing together, considering there are more than 300 screws or fasteners involved, is unimaginable. Assembly can easily take one entire day, if done entirely without power tools, and in this build, it is wiser to do by hand. Every screw has to be done correctly. At this stage, it became a two-person job. The structure is now too heavy to lift alone. With my DIY daughter, that is such a breeze. We'll always need a second person who actually really do know what she is doing. And apparently, she was taught well. Okay, now the structure is done. Follow along as the rest of the build come together. The top is held down by these M8 fasteners. The holes are precisely located to find the sliding T-nut within the aluminum profile. Holes are recessed in slightly to not allow any bolts to protrude on the surface. End caps are placed on to cover the sharp edges. Over here, I put on a 45 degree bevel on all sides, and hand sanded it down to get it smooth. The surface received a good sand from 320 grit to 600 grit to 2000 grit machine sand. The end result is as smooth as acrylic. This is the part where more precision is required. I lack the precision tools to create an MFT table, but made up for it by taking my time on precision measurements. Despite that, in the future, I will still prefer a CNC machine to do so. CNC is in my plans ahead, follow my builds and it will come in the very near future. My reasonable target is to achieve a good clamping table meant for assembly. 
I do not aim to achieve an MFT accuracy to square things up, at least for now, without a CNC. This will suffice for now. In order to drill straight down, square to the tabletop, I depend on my homemade tool to do so. This tool has been calibrated to be 90 degrees square from all sides. Reliable to complete the holes for this tabletop. Now, the only thing to do is to drill away. I gave the holes a good chamfer before finally finishing up the tabletop. As a protective coating to waterproof, I gave it a few good coats of bee wax.
This is the place where I intended to put a CPU. I see myself using this table for 3D machines, CNC machines, study desk, clamping and assembly, glue ups, aluminum works, and more. Now, based on my design, I have the drawers left to do, and also the 3D printed holders within the drawers. In my next video, I will show the many uses for this table. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video of this series.